Hey everyone and welcome to the overview of the Jackery Explorer 1000 solar generator by Pure Power Solar. The Jackery Explorer 1000 solar generator comes from Jackery, a company founded in America specializing in providing efficient and green power solutions for people all around the world. The Explorer 1000 is the latest and most recent in the line of portable power stations produced by the company, with predecessors like the Explorer 160, Explorer 240, and Explorer 500, the Explorer 1000 is the most powerful with the highest output and battery storage capacity. The included features in this product make it stand out as a reliable source of electricity in emergency situations. It is also an excellent choice for explorers, campers, and hikers. Virtually anyone seeking out the pleasures of the wild can also rely on it as their source of electric power during their time in the wild. If and when used with a strong and capable solar panel, the Explorer 1000 serves as an incredible means of generating electricity. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more reviews, tips, and tricks, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you're easily notified of upcoming videos. Also, stay till the end for a freebie from me. Features of the Jackery 1000 Starting from the analysis of the product as a single unit, the Explorer 1000 is a rectangular portable power station shaped like a box, colored in the traditional Jackery colors orange and gray. The product measures 13.1 by 9.17 by 11.14 inches, making a nice and simple box frame that's easily portable. And contrary to the expectation of such a powerful generator, it is relatively light for its size, weighing only 22 pounds. This lightweight feature, in conjunction with a strong and compact handle built in with the product, makes it very easy to move and carry about. A major point scored with campers and explorers and anyone intending to go out in the wild with this power station. The product also comes with a DC to 12 volt cable, other charging accessories like an AC adapter and cable, and a manual handbook with instructions on the utilization and maintenance of the product. On the product, there are different features present with different uses. The input section has two options. The DC input and an Anderson input connects to a solar panel, preferably the Jackery Solar Saga 100 watt solar panel. Just right beside these input options is the LCD screen, which displays the input watts, the output watts, the percentage of the battery, and a battery icon showing the capacity of the battery at any point in time. This section is completed with a button that activates the LCD screen. Right below these input and display options, the output options for the product are situated. This output option is, however, divided into two, the DC section and AC section. The DC section has a power button for activating the DC section, a car port rated at 12 volts, two type C USB ports, one type A USB port rated at five volts and 2.4 amps, and a 3.0 USB port named the quick charge port. In the AC section, likewise, we have a power button too, called the AC button, which also activates the AC section, which has three AC outlets rated at 110 volts each. The only accessory that can be found on the product's face is the flashlight. As said earlier, the Explorer 1000 is an excellent choice when it comes to camping or exploring the outdoor life, and this utility is made perfect with the inclusion of the flashlight, which can be easily activated or switched off by means of the button located right next to it. Output Capacity With an output of 1,002 watt-hours, the Explorer 1000 can power a lot of your electronic appliances. All of your small to medium AC appliances can be powered comfortably owing to the fact that the product comes with a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter coupled with a surge capacity of 2,000 watts. This implies that the same safe and clean electricity that you get from your normal source at home is being generated by this power station. Appliances like televisions, laptop computers, and portable refrigerators can be successfully powered consistently over a long period of time as long as these appliances don't have huge power ratings. More powerful home appliances like microwave ovens and coffee pots can also be operated on the power station for a considerably short period of time, provided that the overall power rating doesn't exceed 1000 watts continuously. Even in a case where the overall power rating exceeds the stated watts, the 2000 watt surge capacity of the power station takes care of that, making sure no damage is done to the appliance or the power station. Care must, however, be taken to ensure that these cases are kept to the barest minimum to retain the longevity of the battery. In accordance with previous assertions that the Explorer 1000 is an excellent product for campers, you should also know that the product can also power CPAP machines for several hours. 
Therefore, campers suffering from sleep apnea have no issues at all with their sleep once they have the Explore 1000 power station. The power station can also be used in the workplace to power appliances that have lower power ratings and can easily be used when plugging into the power station. Recharging the Explore 1000 like all power stations, the Explorer 1000 doesn't generate its own electric power. It is charged and stores electric energy. The product is equipped with an MPPT charge controller, which enables fast charging when the product is being charged with solar energy. Actually, there are numerous ways through which the Explorer 1000 can be charged. These different methods have their own advantages, and it is a very good thing that Jackery has provided a wide range of options with regards to the charging of the product. This is very common amongst solar generators where they have these three sources of charging, which it will get into next. The first and fastest way of charging the Explorer 1000 is through the AC outlet. You can plug the power station into a household source of electricity and your Explorer 1000 will be fully charged in about eight hours. Number two, solar panel. The next option, which is also one of the fastest, is to charge the power station with the aid of a solar panel. Here, the duration of the charge depends on the power type or capacity of the solar panel in use. A 200 watt solar panel with a 160 watt power level charges the power station in around seven to eight hours, while a 100 watt solar panel with a power level between 80 and 100 watts will complete the charge of the product in about 17 hours with the aid of the MPPT technology, of course. It should, however, be noted that a solar panel for charging the power station doesn't come with the product. Rather, a Jackery Solar Saga solar panel is recommended or any other solar panel with enough power to to enable fast charging. The Solar Saga solar panel is rated at 100 watts, so for optimal charging experience, it is recommended that two of these solar panels are combined. The cord from the Jackery Solar Saga panel goes into the 8mm charging inlet of the power station, while the cords for other solar panels are connected with the Anderson power pole charging input. Number three, carport. You can also charge your Explorer 1000 power station using your car. Your Explorer 1000 can be plugged into the cigarette lighter port while you are driving using the DC charging cord that comes with the power station. This is a bit slower than the other forms of charging previously discussed as it takes approximately 14 hours to charge using this method. This is probably due to the fact that the car charging has a power level of roughly 80 watts. So if you are going on a long road trip, you can possibly use this time to charge your power station. It should be noted that despite the presence of two charging ports, the power station cannot be charged through the two ports simultaneously. What happens when you do this is that the power station charges through the primary source, which is the 8mm charging port. It is only when the power source charging through that port stops that the other port starts charging the power station. This means that if you plug the cable from a solar panel and also plug a power source through the 8mm port for charging, the power station will charge only through the 8mm port to the point where the power source charging through that port stops. Conclusion Overall, the Explore 1000 power station can be said to be a very good product from the producer's Jackery. It has amazing features that tend to entice one to make the decision to buy the product if it fits their needs. It is portable, well-built, and compact for easy movement and use. From numerous outlets that can be used to power a lot of electronic gadgets to multiple charging options, the power station allows users to enjoy it maximally. It is useful both in the house as a reliable backup for emergencies during power outages as it can power virtually most of the gadgets that are used in the house and this product is also reliable outdoors as a source of electric power to support activities such as camping, hiking, parties, and even work as work appliances that are not heavy duty can be powered using the Jackery Explorer 1000. The price of the Jackery 1000 is also not exorbitant as it is less than most of the power stations with the same capacity and performance. The certification and warranty that comes with the product are a testament to its originality and durability. Conclusively, the Jackery Explorer 1000 power station is an essential product that every home should possess due to its usefulness and authenticity. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like. And if you have any thoughts to share, leave me a comment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates on new video releases. For more of my thoughts on the Jackery Explorer 1000, find my article in the description of this video where I reveal some more key characteristics of this powerful solar generator. And now for the freebie. If you're looking for the ideal camping equipment to have with you on your next adventure, I wrote an ebook of the top 30 items to have with you on your trip outdoors. I go in depth on each item, showing you the best scenarios for each one. Not all of the items on the list are essential for each camping trip, but many of them can be configured together to support the style of excursion you intend to go on. Find this in the description below. And thanks again for watching.